What's up YouTube? What's going on? Um, this video is a little off topic. Well, not off topic because that's pretty much how I started my channel, but it's going to be about hyperhidrosis. My first ever video on this and just talking about it just makes me sweat. Um, it's about, you know, anxiety, um, sweating, anxiety, uh, anxiety attacks and stuff like that, that I've been dealing with since I was 18, 18, 19. Before that, I Honestly, I could tell you I was the most confident person ever. I didn't know what being anxious was. I don't know about I didn't I didn't know about what anxiety was. I would you know peep or think people were crazy about you know thinking about anxiety or what they're anxious for, or why they're nervous, or stuff like that. I would get on to my sister because every time she would get nervous, she would tell me and you know she would be like shaking and stuff like that. Well, not shaking, but you know very noticeably nervous. And I would always get on to her like, what's a nervousness for? Well, why are you having anxiety? There's no reason to have that. And here I am, you know, here I am with uh, with anxiety and I, I suffer from it. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. So I, I haven't talked about it in a long time because I just wanted to get my, my, my mind away from it. I just wanted to forget about it. Sometimes you just try to run away from your problems and, you know, hope that it just disappears which it hasn't um and i only got one comment which is okay um you know i asked you know i wanted to make an update video about it if there's any questions comments below i can answer them in a video so i just got one comment out of that um the comment from so the person who commented said have you managed to control to have control over it as I follow you for this and suffer from severe case of hyperhidrosis, what helped you the most? Um, what I can tell you is from the very first moment it happened, it gradually got worse to the point that I couldn't go outside. I couldn't talk to people. I would sweat in front of, um, you, you know, if I was at a grocery store, I would sweat. Um, just being there. Um, and the worst thing about me is I sweat um, in my face. That's where most of the sweat comes out. And then in my stomach, my chest area. That's where I pretty much sweat the most. Um, then gradually goes into my back and stuff like that. But I could, I could already, I was fearful of the sweat to the point that I knew it was coming and I knew how much it would be, so I would sweat even more. And that's the cycle that all of us suffer that have hyperhidrosis. Um, for those who don't know and don't care about it, then, you know, move on. Click out of this video. It's not for you. Um, you'll never understand. It's, it's something that you only understand if you have it. Um, and I don't want you to understand. I... There's, I've tried. People don't understand. People just think it's it's something that you can just think about it and just, it'll just go away. But that's not how it happens. Um, maybe we just think about it way too much. Who knows? Um, I have managed to control it, but not 100%. Um, all the things that I mentioned that I couldn't do, um, like I said, go to the grocery store, even sit, sit around the table with friends, uh, all of that, I've been managed. I've, I've been able to manage it a little better. Um, now I can go to the grocery store. Now I can stand in a line. Now I can, you know, order food. Now I can, um, you know, speak up in a meeting and stuff like that. Now I can do a lot of the things. But am I still anxious? Yes. Am I am I still thinking about sweating? Yes. Am I still uh, having uh, depressing thoughts? Yes. Um, how can how do I control that? Well, I try not to focus on it. I try to keep my mind at peace, um, whether it's through praying, uh, reading the Bible. Um, if, if, you, if you're not religious or if you don't believe in anything in you like this, um, try it out. You know, if you've tried everything else and it hasn't worked, try it out. You know, um, I'm a strong believer in God and, uh, you know, he's helping me through it. Um, so... I have managed to control it a little bit, but there's still some situations where I will sweat and it's going to 
you know, caused me to be embarrassed, caused me to turn red, caused me to uh, want to die, caused me to, uh, not literally, but, you know, like, you know how, like, there's a saying, like, uh, I wish the floor would swallow me at this point or whatever. Pretty much that's, that's what I meant. Um, I'm not suicidal. I used to be back in the day when it, when it was severe and I couldn't control it and I really wanted to give up. Um, I wasn't, I'm not, there's no way, I mean, I have a family that loves me. I have a beautiful girlfriend that loves me, um, that I'm engaged to now. So, um, she understands it, you know, I've talked to her about it. Um, you know, it's something that I, I had to come to her because I didn't want her to question it in the future and be like, what's going on? Why you can't do this? You know, I got to explain it before. Um, so, you know, she knows about it. Um, it happens to me while I'm with her sometimes and, you know, it's okay. Um, it's, it's not something that, you know, she's not going to break up with me about. I mean, hopefully not. I mean, it's happened to me before and it's, 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 it's been okay. So it's nothing that I'm worried about with her anymore. I was scared to tell her, tell her at one point. Um, and you know, doing my first YouTube video and kind of taking things off my back really helped a lot. Um, a lot of people know about it now. Um, they still don't understand it. And like I said, I don't expect anybody to understand it. But um, the way the way to get better, like I said, <clears throat> stop doing things that um, worsens it. Like, um, I don't know, but I'm the type of person I feel guilty all the time. E e even if I take a sticky note and I put it in my pocket and it wasn't mine, I feel guilty about it. Even if I, for, for the smallest things, I feel really guilty and I start feeling nervous and I start feeling anxious. Um, just because when I grew up, I was always told that whatever I was doing was wrong. Not like, not my parents, but a lot of people around me. Um, and I grew up in a Seventh-day Adventist church, so I really couldn't, you know, do this, do that, do this, do that. So I always felt guilty if I did it. Um, and I think it kind of caught up to me. Um, I was always seen as the perfect, uh, role model in, in some of the churches that I went to. And if I was caught, you know, listening to, to type, some type of music that would automatically say that I was, you know, um, the worst person ever and stuff like that. So you kind of get the idea. So I've always pretty much, you know, felt guilty all my life and just being anxious and having anxiety just it, it just even worsens it everything and then a lot of heartbreaks um that i had in high school not a lot of heartbreaks i it's not that i had like so many girlfriends i okay heartbreaks in the past um you know thinking i wasn't enough for the person thinking i was you know ugly thinking that i was uh, you know, X, Y, and Z, whatever it could be. A lot of things led up to that. Um, now I'm in a better space. Um, I have a great job. I have a good family that loves me. You know, I have a girlfriend, like I mentioned before. Um, and I'm always trying to think positive, you know. Something that will always be in my mind is, is hyperhidrosis isn't something deadly that I'm going to die um, of. It's something that I can manage. It's not something that I can control. It's not something that I, um, I think I just ran out of what I was going to say. But <clears throat> if you ever need to talk to somebody, I'm here. I do, um, you know, talk to.